제 39회 요즘 유행하는 노래야 안녕하세요. Hello everyone and welcome to Let's Speak Korean. I'm your host Lisa Kelly and we've got a great show packed for you today. But first let's go and meet my wonderful friend Steve. Hello, how are you? Good Lisa. Mm -hmm. How you doing? 안녕하세요. I'm Steven Revere and I'm looking forward to teaching you all some more Korean. We're going to talk about trends a little bit today. And we have a couple people to help us. <laughs> 안녕하세요, 리사 씨. Hello. 안녕하세요, 스티븐 씨. 안녕하세요, 저는 미리암입니다. Hmm. Yes, everybody. 안녕하세요, 저는 제이슨입니다. Man, you guys are looking pretty good today. Yeah, yeah. Like what's, what's with I the training outfits? Good. Did you guys just get done exercising or something? No, you no, look no, like you didn't know that. It's the fashion you nowadays. Man, you're, right. you guys are really no, out no, of it, No, 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 it's not it? you guys. It's, it's Steve is oh, really okay. out of it. He's a little bit... Um, Really? And, <laughs> yes, this actually has, it happens to be very hip and in these days. It started from the well-being boom, and mm -hmm. now everyone is pretty much wearing trainers. Or, the well-being boom? Yeah. What was the well-being boom? You know, you do yoga, you eat healthy foods, etc. But anyways, nowadays in Korea, everyone is wearing these brightly colored, um, what do you call them, sweats. But here's mm -hmm. what we call them, training. Uh, right? Training book, yeah. But uh, I don't, I don't see that many people wearing them. But I guess, I guess it is getting. Well, you just need to go I out. Started, and, yeah, yeah, you need, yeah you need get, to get out, out a little so. more. That's right. <laughs> oh, like, look at the script writer. She's always wearing. <laughs> I know, a wonderful script writer. All right, well, let's get started with the show. Let's go to Let's Do It. Let's do it. 이 노래를 들어봤어? 요즘 유행하는 노래야. 많이 들었어. Okay, we heard E Nore Tirobasto. Have you heard this song? Actually, I've got this wonderful CD ready. P, okay, he's all the craze in Korea. He's, he's great and he sings great. Anyways, this is very popular in Korea these days. And. Oh, you hang on in Nore Gunyo. That's right, that's right. Anyways, and they were asking, He Paso, Tiro Paso, Paso. Paso means. Have you seen it? But here it means, have you tried it? Mm. Right, Steve? Stop staring at him. And this is a good chance <laughs> to teach another word, right? P means rain, okay? No, P means handsome guy who sings well. <laughs> okay, or rain. <laughs> and underneath you can see it says rain there. Okay, yeah. yes. And we said, 들어봤어요. So, you're trying to find out if someone has done something before. Right. Have you tried it? Have you heard it? Uh, you, 봤어요, 보다 often ends up meaning to try something. Mm -hmm. So, you'd say, 먹어봤어요. You're going to have to add 어, 아, plus to the verb, then add on the end, 봤어요. So, it would be 먹어봤어요 or 들어봤어요 is our other instance, mm -hmm. right? So, let's try that. 들어봤어요. 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 How about, have you tried it? 해봤어요? 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 Yes, notice the conjugation. Mm -hmm. 하다 turns into 해, right? Just like we talked, and we've talked about this many times before. When you add the 어 onto the 하다, it becomes 하였다, shortened to 해. So we've got 해봤어요? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. uh -huh. Okay, and you can also say, have you gone there, which would be, do you want to try it? Good. Okay. Let's uh, try to think of some other ones with 들어봤어요. Mm -hmm. Okay. 이 노래를 들어봤어요? 이 노래를 들어봤어요? Great. And the next line we had was, this is all the rain these days. This is the trend. This is in. This is very popular. And we say, 유행하는 노래야. Or 유행하는 옷이야. 유행하는 컵이야. You can do pretty much anything. Yes, we're talking about be, ha, doing something right now, okay? Mm -hmm. When something is popular right now, you say, 유행하는 노래요, okay? 유행하는 노래요. And then when something is in the past, on the end of the verb, what you do instead is you just put a nian at the end. So you would say, 유행한 노래요. It was very popular. popular. 유행한 노래요. And then, if you want to talk about the future, you would add a liel, a l sound at the end. So you would say, you hang ha noreo. It's going to be very popular. Mm. And I've prepared some really nice looking sunglasses here. And here, 
pass those two okay. down. Okay. Okay. And in Korea, we say sunglass instead of sunglasses, or you can say anjong. Okay. Tell me how popular your glasses are. <laughs> 이 안경은 유명 유행하는 환경이에요. 안경 유행하는 안경이에요. Okay. Okay. Can I try that mm -hmm. one? Sure. One. Uh -huh. 이 안경은 유행하는 안경이에요. Okay. Yeah. 이 안경은 <laughs> <laughs> okay. 이 안경은 유행하는 안경이에요. Okay, and of course you don't have to say 이 안경은, you can just say 유행하는 안경이에요. Uh, okay? okay, and I've got a special one for Steve. This is just... This is... <laughs> okay, <laughs> 너무 한걸 아니에요? 아니에요. Everybody? 좋아요. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 이 안경은 유행하는 안경 아닙니다. Yeah, I don't, don't know. Don't buy these glasses. Uh, I think will be pretty popular now that you've worn them. Okay, you know? yeah, right. Okay, and this time, let's put 요즘 before your sentence, which means these days or nowadays. Mm -hmm. So, this is the trend these days, this is in these days. And use the word 춤, which is dance or fashion, or let's see, 머리, hair. Okay. 요즘 유행하는 머리예요. Okay. 요즘 유행하는 춤이에요. <laughs> Okay. All right, all right, that's pretty good. A long time ago, I think <laughs> you ain't had chumi wata. I think that was maybe. popular. Yeah. Or maybe it will be someday. You ain't had chumi. Apuro, apuro, you ain't had chumi. Mm -hmm. Okay. And don't forget that you can also add yojum in front of the sentence to say that this is the trend these days, nowadays, etc. Mm -hmm. And using that and keeping that in mind, I'll tell you something and you tell me how popular it is. Okay, let's see what I have behind me here. Okay, oh, this hairpin, this accessory, we'll say. E accessory, hebasel, Mario? 네, 요즘 유행하는 accessory예요. Oh, good, okay. And, oh, Everyone's into the digital camera. Okay, we'll just call it a camera. <laughs> 이 camera 써봤어요? 예, 요즘 유행하는 camera예요. Mm -hmm. yeah, camera yes, it's, you know, it's interesting teaching Korean. Cause, let me see camera? some of these yeah. props. Right. I mean, this in Korean, camera. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> There's a Korean word, 사진기, but most people don't use 사진기 very right. much. We also had sunglasses, huh? yeah. which in Korean are sunglasses. <laughs> uh, you know, Sek Anjong is the Korean word, but no, not many people use it. So if you learn how to pronounce words in the Korean pronunciation, such as accessory, <laughs> which is accessory, then you will learn how to use a lot of Korean words as well. <laughs> Well, in a place like Korea, where things go in and out of the trend so quickly, mm. it's pretty important to know how to say this. Have you tried this? This is pretty in. All right, let's go and take a look at our Wrap It Up. Wrap It Up with Lisa and Steven. You know what I said? I didn't hear it. Then, you know what I said? I didn't hear it. 이 노래 들어봤어? 아, 이 노래 많이 들어봤어. Okay, in the flash animation we heard how to say I haven't seen it or tasted it or tried it. Mm. We add the word mut in front of it. And mut means I haven't had the opportunity. I haven't had the chance, which is different from an which means I haven't. Yeah. And there's a little, bit, choice, little right? bit more of your own choice in there exactly. when you say anebaso than motebaso. When haven't you say motebaso, I kind of wanted to do it, but I haven't mm. gotten to do it yet. Yeah. Not yet mm -hmm. is pretty much what it means. Mm. All right, we'll keep what we uh, learned today in mind. It should be pretty fun using these expressions. And we'll see you here again next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye. Adenangtv.com. Bye. Questions and comments. Bye.